Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. We're going to look at configuring static NAT in 60 seconds. So you can see the diagram above here. We've already configured routers A and B. Router B has a static route pointing back to 172.16.1.1. So hopefully you can configure a loopback address and the wide area networks. And you can see in our diagram we're natting 192.168.1.1 to 20.1.1.1. We're going to add the command IPNAT inside to interface loopback 0, which I've shortened to L0 on the config there. On the interface serial 0 slash 0, I'm adding the IPNAT outside command. If I see anyone making mistakes, it's normally missing off one of those two commands, so NAT won't work if you don't have one of those. The command for static NAT is IPNAT inside, source static, you have the address you want to translate, and then after that the address you want to translate to so we're translating loopback 0 to 20.1.1.1 and the way to test it is source an extended ping you do that by typing ping and pressing enter we're going to choose the loopback address oh by the way I've turned on debug IP NAT so we can see this working the target IP address is router B the serial press enter and enter until we get to extended commands type yes we can source the address or the interface so let's type loopback zero as our source address press enter a few more times and all things been equal you'll see a debug of your NAT working the static NAT 192.168.1.1 is been NATed to 20.1.1.1 so thanks for watching